everybody, it's Sarah, and welcome to your daily tarot scope for January 1, 2022. And please pardon the background noise, it's really windy here. We're having a high wind alert, and even though I am safe and secure in my home, it's really windy and you're hearing the wind in the background. So until I move into a recording studio, <laughs> you're likely to hear things, especially with these timely videos. This was something my community has asked for, a quick, to the point, daily general reading of the energy. And before I pull the first card, let me just point out that I am using the entire Rider Wake Tarot deck. This is the old school deck, and I feel it holds great insight into the energy as we begin the new year. Once again, this is my take on the energy and the cards, and because of that, it may not resonate with everyone. And if it doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just pass it on by, and I do hope you find what you're looking for. If this mini card pull does resonate with you, let me know in the comment section below, and of course, give it a like because that really helps the channel get seen. Okay, let's pull a card. Okay, the energy for January the 1st, 2022 will be, oh, okay, we have a reverse card, and it's a major card, and it is the devil upside down. Okay, actually, this makes perfect sense. The upside down or reverse devil is about self-awareness, owning your life choices, owning your behavior, and then following through by taking constructive action to break all the chains that come with poor habits, bad decisions, bad behavior. So actually this card is about self-awareness, owning our behaviors, admitting we do have a problem, and following through with making changes. So this is an amazing card to begin the new year with. Personal insights and emotional intelligence are not something that can be taught. It kind of just happens. We grow as individuals and then we start to realize that maybe the decisions we're making are being self-destructive or self-sabotaging. And this card signals that we are having those realizations and we're ready to do something about it. And I mean, most of us know that we have been indulging maybe a little bit too much, eating too much fast food, or maybe we have been coping with, you know, overspending or drinking a little bit too much. So we know that we need to get back on track and break the chains of these unhealthy habits. But it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And before you know it, you've fallen down the rabbit hole and something that you did occasionally you're doing every day. So so however it is that you're self-medicating, this is a card saying it's a wonderful time to take action because right now the energy is very favorable for you to take control of your life and move past these habits. You will need a plan and you will need to commit to it. But after all the trials and tribulations of the last couple of years, you got this. You can get past this right now, especially the energy is favorable for breaking bad habits, releasing what doesn't serve your high highest good and for releasing addictions. While it might initially seem painful to make these adjustments, it will pay off in the end and your whole life will change for the better. And you know, we know this. We know that if, for instance, we're spending too much, we know that it's not actually doing anything to help us get closer to what we want out of life, is it? It's a momentary fix to buy something shiny. But then the credit card statement comes in and it's like, uh-oh, what do we do now? So we know these behaviors need to get back in check, but for whatever reason, we haven't addressed them. This energy is allowing us to do a self-assessment and address these issues now in a very favorable way. In other words, it's going to be much easier now to handle them than it was even a week ago. And remember, this is a process. For instance, if you're trying to quit smoking, most people can't just decide on Monday they're going to quit smoking and then be done with cravings or withdrawals by Tuesday. It just doesn't happen that way. So you have to be realistic and you will need to build a plan and a routine for situations that will come up because they will. That's just the way it happens, but that's okay. The universe always combines things in a way that we never expect. By releasing this old way of being, you're taking direct action to bring in so many good things into your life. Things that may not seem related, like quitting smoking and finding a life partner, doesn't really seem related. But then again, you know how the universe works. Anything could happen with this big change. The next step then, after you have addressed the issue and you've made a plan, is to take a minute stop and just breathe because you got this. This is a big undertaking, but you so got this. You can so do this. This is an amazing message from the universe for January the 1st. And I would take it to mean that, yes, this is going to be a fantastic year of self-evolution, of us becoming the best that we can be. 
So I hope you liked today's little mini card pull. And if you did, let me know in the comments section below. And of course, be sure and subscribe and tap that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. I'll speak to you soon. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.